In this video, we'll take a look at creating new files in Ecosim Building Designer Connect Edition. In the previous video, a new work set was created. So I am in my Quick Start Electrical work set. You see from the drop down list here from the work page. And right here is the New File button. So if I choose that New File button, I'll get prompted with this new dialog box. You see when you create a new file that it uses a seed file and simply give it a name here. I'll call this one the Discipline Master. In the previous video, we talked about the federated organization of the DGN files in our project. And this one will be the master model file for the electrical discipline. So once we give it a name, we can say save here. And then Ecosim Building Designer will open the newly created file. So I can see here in the newly created file, I have three views open. So here's view one. I see that it's in an isometric orientation. View two is in a top orientation. View three is in a front orientation. So I'll go ahead and click on the electrical tab up here. The electrical discipline's a little bit different from the other disciplines in Ecosim Building Designer that you need to hit this load electrical button right here. But first, let's take a look at some of the other components of the interface. So we can see the various components of the Ecosim Building Designer Connect Edition interface, including the ribbon interface with the different tabs here, spotlighting the electrical tab. We've got the workflow, the quick access toolbar. Very top is the application header that shows us which file that we're in. Over on the right of the ribbon interface is a search where you can search for tools and where they're located in the ribbon interface. We've got the connect advisor and you can minimize the ribbon from up here. We have our family part toolbar, our attributes toolbar, our icon locks. Explorer is unpinned on the left. Our tool settings window we see each view that has the view controls on it. The view headers show us the view number, the view rotation, the design model name. And then along the bottom, our view groups window, our AccuDraw window, the floor selector. And then the very bottom is the status bar that has various settings and information in it. And the very left is the prompt. The center is the message center. And then we have things like the snap mode, the locks, and the input focus. The one thing to look at here in the interface is the file tab. So when we click on the file tab in the ribbon interface, it takes us to the backstage page. And here you can see you have tools over here like new. You could create a new file from here, open, save, save settings, etc. And then here is the file that I just created. And eventually in the work set, I'll be opening various files and that will start building this list of recent files. But one thing you can do with this list of files, you see that it shows the path here, is I can right click on here and get this pop-up menu. And you can see we already have open, open as read only, pin to list, remove from list. But also there's this open folder in File Explorer. So if I click on that, it will take me right to the work set designs folder where that particular file is, whether it's on my hard drive or out on the network. So a nice little feature there in the backstage where we can jump right to the designs folder of the project. Now I can use this arrow over here, I, or I can use escape on my keyboard to return to the working interface. So creating new files, and getting familiar with the interface in Ecosim Building Designer Connect Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.